Hello, my name is Ismail and I am going to present our CBPR paper, CIA GAN. This is a joint work with Maxim and Laura. Our group is interested in data privacy, and to this end, we have been working on building a framework that is able to anonymize image and video data. There are simple methods that achieve high anonymization. For example, it is easy to use blurring or blackening, which anonymize the identity of the people in the images. However, what we also want is to mine the data for some algorithm, for example, tracking or detection. Simple methods that totally lose the information won't work and will make the tracking and detection impossible. Clearly, we need to find a better solution. Let's take an example. We want to track Laura, but at the same time, we don't want detectors to detect her identity. A necessary property of the model is to replace her face with a face that is detectable, a realistic face. One way to achieve this property is to replace her face with another realistic face, for example, that of her favorite actor. But we might need consent for this. So another good property to have is that the algorithm generates only faces that belong to some new identity. Identities that are not present in the data. We also want to have control over the generation process. One person might need to be anonymized in different ways. For example, we might want to track Laura within a shopping mall, but not up to her way home. It is important to be able to change the anonymization when the camera changes, making it impossible to globally track her. Finally, working with videos, we also want the algorithm to generate temporarily consistent data. So here we have all the desired properties. We want the generated frames to be anonymous, realistic, to not be classified as part of an identity that is present on the data, for a frame to be able to get anonymized in different ways, and for the frames to be temporarily consistent. To do so, we exploit the power of generative adversarial networks. Here is our model. It has a post-preservation non-parametric module, a GAN module that generates the anonymized images and videos, an identity discriminator that ensures that faces belonging to an identity get anonymized towards the same identity, and a controller that allows the algorithm to change the way how a face is anonymized. For post-preservation module, we extract the facial landmarks and the mask background built in a 6D image. In this way, the generator is forced not only to generate a realistic face, but also to correctly blend it with the background. The GAN network is trained using LSGAN loss function. However, the method is agnostic with regard to the loss function and other losses like Wasserstein loss work too. We embed the identity with a multi-layer perceptron and feed it into the bottleneck of the generator. We also add an identity discriminator, which is a Siamese neural network. The identity discriminator ensures that the face of an identity belongs to a new identity, in addition to helping with the convergence. Note that this discriminator is not trained in an adversarial way. Instead, it provides a guiding signal to the generator. We see from the result that our method reaches a very high anonymization rate. But unlike simple methods, the detection rate is kept high. Furthermore, we also reach state-of-the-art result the identification rate compared to other good GAN-based methods like Gaffney et al. As can be seen from qualitative results, our method ensures better anonymization with more diversity. However, Gaffney et al. generates more realistically looking images. Here we see that when we change the identity, the generated images change, taking characteristics of both source images. We also extend our method to body anonymization, reaching promising initial results. We show how our method learns to remove glasses and change gender. Finally, we show that our method provides implicit temporal consistency. Because the frames are conditioned on the landmarks, our method works with videos too. Thank you for attending this presentation. And I will be happy to take questions here or in our virtual poster booth.